Awesome. Thank you, Max. Uh, and we, we made you uh, more, have more trouble, go through more trouble saying Departamento de Desarrollo Económico, <laughs> basically Department of Economic Development and Commerce from Puerto Rico. Um, you made the intro, so David, if you want to go to the next slide uh, so we can give some context. So, so general context on, on our priorities as the policy Department of, of Economic Development Agency who promotes uh, and implements public policy on economic development. We have six priorities that we feel are foundational uh, to our competitiveness. Three of them, which are uh, strongly highlighted in this propo proposal and make this proposal very relevant to us. Um, historically, we have seen, uh, we have had more like sectorial uh, uh, strategies when we invest heavy in one sector instead of really having a, uh, investing on all the main components that make uh, uh, our jurisdiction competitiveness. Uh, so logistics, energy, obviously tax and, and incentives policy. Uh, talent and workforce development, ease of doing business, and innovation capabilities. With this proposal, we, we tackle three of them. Um, so, David, if you want to go to the next one. So, when we talk about the bias, bioscience sector, uh, Puerto Rico has had a very uh, strong legacy within this sector, uh, but very focused on the, on, on, on the pure manufacturing capacities instead of, of having, a, uh, you know, all the main components of what makes a strong uh, bioscience powerhouse, if you will. Um, so we have really depended a lot of, of our tax policy to attract a lot of investment for, for bioscience. Uh, and that has led to also local investments uh, and local activity on the bioscience sector, very specifically on the pharmaceutical and medical device uh, uh, devices sector. Um, a lot of our economy uh, around 50% of our economy depends on manufacturing and, and more than half of that depends on the bioscience sector. So when we look forward, our vision for the future for this sector is not purely man just manufacturing. Uh, it includes uh, strengthening two main uh, 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 pillars of what makes a bioscience powerhouse. That's uh, the logistic and distribution and the research and development also including the workforce uh, part of it. So all of the projects that make up this proposal and this coalition are either in, uh, on strengthening the logistics sector um, or strengthening workforce development and research and development capabilities. So you want to go to the next one, David. So the, the main uh, partners that we have here are super relevant to this. Uh, us, obviously, as the government agency and the lead uh, agency uh, for convening all of these players, Invest Puerto Rico, which is our promotional arm, uh, 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 a nonprofit that, that basically leads the, the marketing strategy. The Ports Authority, who owns the airport and the, and the airport and the west side of the island, and a lot of the uh, storage capacity that's on the west side of the island. Uh, the University of Puerto Rico has a molecular science research center, which is key to a lot of the R&D that happens within this sector. Uh, the Puerto Rico Science, Technology, and Research Trust, which basically is our implementation arm for a lot of the innovation, science, and technology initiatives that the department uh, uh, promotes. Uh, Indoneve, which works very, very closely with the industry, uh, they gather a lot of the leaders of the industry in Puerto Rico. And Lyft, uh, which, which works uh, uh, in other parts of the nation, uh, with continuous manufacturing and, and workforce development initiatives, uh, which we're trying to bring here to Puerto Rico. David, if you want to go and explain the, pr the projects inside. Yeah, sure. So, so basically, the, the projects that, that we were working on, we tried uh, to, to build upon uh, initiatives that we've already been working on the past few years and really bring them to the next level. Uh, currently out west in the airport in uh, northwestern Puerto Rico, in Aguadilla, they already do business uh, with, with pharma and, and bio industry, but they were limited in, in warehousing capacity and they didn't have any temperature control. So we really want to like add on to the warehousing capabilities that they have and add on uh, some, some temperature controlled warehousing to that. So we're going to be building up uh, a new cargo road and, and new warehousing space. Uh, Indonesia will be uh, leading the cold chain pharma certification, uh, working with the IATA CEIB uh, to make sure we have a trade lane here, you know, to, to, to make sure we have the standards 
and the industry is aware that we have consistent standards in managing the, the inventory of, of product and raw materials and all that. Um, the MSRC is uh, from UPR here in, in Puerto Rico, and they have uh, built this, this building with beautiful labs and facilities for doing this research. And uh, they, they are always building up new, new, new areas and, and little by little added on capabilities. And, and they needed clean rooms to really have the, the place to do that research. And that's the new component that we're adding through the, through the proposal. Um, with Lyft, uh, they, they have one of the manufacturing USA centers uh, over in Michigan, and they want to do like a satellite here in Puerto Rico to work with materials. They, they work uh, with, uh, with the fence, but they also work uh, with medical devices development and, and that being part of, of uh, one of our projects. We really want to work with them in both workforce development and also uh, new product development. They, they work both areas and, and trying to help them out have as robust a facility as possible. 